All right, everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. This week, we're going to go over 20 awesome spotlight tricks that are going to take you from an average Mac OS spotlight user to an awesome spotlight for Mac user. Let's check it out. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, so the first way to initiate spotlight you either have to go up to the little magnifying glass up in the right hand corner of your screen that will give you the spotlight search or the quickest way is to use command spacebar command spacebar to bring it up command spacebar to bring it down bring that guy up if i type in mac and i just want to get rid of that text i hit escape right brings it right back if i want to move this window around. I can drag it to wherever I want. I can make it so the default is this size. And now I can use my escape, clear it out, get rid of it, bring it back, and it's gonna be in that spot. So now if I wanna reset that, I just click and hold on the magnifying glass and it's gonna reset it back to its default position, right? All right, so now, we are going to show how the quickest way to open up apps. So if I want to open up Safari, I just type Safari, hit return, and it opens. The Spotlight Search actually uses natural language. So I can type in files from yesterday. And it's going to bring up the files from yesterday. Pretty slick. I can hit escape to clear that out again. Um, if I want to, so let's say I do Mac again and it brings up a bunch of stuff in this left hand column, right? If I want to quickly navigate through that column, I hold down command key and I can arrow down or up, right? To go through that information. If I want to check out the temp where I'm at. I just type in temp and it's going to come up with the temp. Noka, Minnesota. Cold, well, cold for me. <laughs> but kind of nasty weather, you know what I mean? Uh, or I can type in weather and it'll do the same thing. If I want to check it out in Phoenix, Arizona, I just type in Phoenix. All right. And if I want to check out where that Catalina uh, install is, right? I got it on my Mac. I just hold down the command key and down here, you're gonna see the location, Catalina 1015 Macintosh. That's my Mac hard drive applications folder. So it's in the applications folder. If I wanna open up, I'm still holding down the command key. If I wanna open up, the containing folder of this install Mac OS Catalina, all I do is hit return and it's gonna open up the folder that contains the, that file that I had command key on, right? That I was uh, searching. It does conversions and calculations. So if I do two plus two, it's gonna give you four. If I say $10 to Euro, oh, spell it right euros it's gonna give me the conversion I can check stocks a PL Apple's doing good coming back up we can quickly access dictionary uh, definitions so if I type in package and then I want to find the di dictionary it's down here towards the bottom I just hold command L and it hops right down to it so if I type in kind colon audio, it's going to show me all the audio tracks. I can just select one and come over here and play it. Do different types. And so I could search text. So, okay, right here I've got text and it's showing this kind of small list that it's finding for text files. But if I double click this show all in finder it's going to show me all the text files so just note that sometimes the the search results in 
spotlight are limited until you say show all in Finder. And you're gonna notice that this is a search, uh, a find search field, right? Um, if I wanna bring that up quickly, I do option, command, spacebar, and that will quickly bring me up into that search find window. Change kind to date and search through different dates, 2020, and it's gonna show me all the, the files and different things that were touched during that time. We wanna look up movies. So we pull up movies, Fast and Furious 9 is planned, so I can type in a flight number and check that out. I can see all sorts of information about a flight and exactly where it is in the flight schedule. More information, head over to the website or open it up in Maps. That actually opens up the terminal that it left from in Maps. Flew through those 20 tips. Hopefully you liked them. If you have you know, any tips that maybe I missed with Spotlight that you use and that you like, leave those down comments. And hey man, it was an awesome week. I hope you guys had an awesome week and I will see you next week. Take care.